Welcome back to the channel and to part 19 of our video series testing petrol for ethanol contents. We're starting with a very brief petrol station sightseeing tour. On your left here is my local Esso garage and we'll take a quick note of the fuel prices. It's £1.49.9 pence per litre for regular unleaded and uh, £1.57.9 for diesel. Uh, both still far cheaper than uh, the super unleaded. Now the reason for noting the fuel prices as we pass is because the petrol station we're heading to was the nearest one to the abandoned Science Park come industrial estate where Boiler House Garage Mark 1 was located. In the five years I was there I must have used the station uh, maybe twice as although I was far less fussy on using 95 Ron petrol at the time as they didn't stock any super and leaded as they don't now. The main reason was because of the price. Now ladies and gentlemen, if you look to the right here, we're approaching the Ducklington Shell Garage which is displaying £1.49.9 pence per litre for Shell fuel save, uh, matching Esso's regular uh, petrol price, and £1.56.9 for diesel, a penny cheaper per litre than the neighbouring Esso. So our destination petrol station is about a 10 minute drive away to the village of Stan Lake, Oxfordshire, where we'll stop to pick up a gallon of their only petrol offering, a 95 Ron unleaded, uh, which will make a change from our usual super unleaded ethanol and octane testing. I'll see you over there shortly. So I did intend to make the fuel station brand a surprise as we got here, but no doubt the title and the thumbnail of the video gave it away. Uh, we're at a pace garage and we'll first make a quick price comparison with our two earlier premium brands. That's £1.54.9 per litre, uh, pence per litre for regular petrol, 5p dearer than both SO and Shell equivalents and £1.59.9 per litre for diesel. That's good customer service there. Although the pump is likely over 30 years old, this garage does actually have a pay at pump service in that the nice lady came over from the building with the card machine. As we get a last reminder of the prices here, we'll also have to remember that both uh, the SON Shell's so-called E10 95 octane petrols are in fact only 5% ethanol. Please check my previous videos where I show this. Most of these lesser known or perhaps generic brands as Pace Petrol is distributed by a company called Certus Energy, they do tend to be more limited in their delivery network uh, from the various refineries they source their fuels and subsequently theirs does seem to have a 6-7% to 7 ethanol uh, and unfortunately ethanol present in their uh, 97 octane super and leadeds were offered. I also remember this particular garage in the 80s and 90s was a Q8 brand. I think it only rebranded as Pace in around 2006, the same year I, I began renting the old boiler house just down the road from here in the next village. According to their marketing brochure, Pace entered a partnership with ExxonMobil in 2009, so perhaps SO refineries are supplying uh, Pace's petrol where possible or required. As I've mentioned before on this channel, I cannot test the ethanol blended petrol for octane, but I can remove the ethanol to test the now reduced octane of the petrol base before the ethanol was mixed in. This is just so we have a secondary data set of results from these tests to determine how much octane ethanol is adding or how the additives of the different brands affect the overall rating. Our petrol station tour hasn't quite ended yet, as in the interest of fairness there's another shell garage near home which is a much smaller setup than the one we passed in Ducklington, that we should just see on the horizon before I turn. I can't make out the diesel price but regular petrol is £1.48.9 pence per litre surprisingly, it's a penny per litre cheaper than the two bigger garages. This is a sample of the uh, Pace 95 octane um, E10 supposedly. I haven't actually checked my ethanol level in it yet. I thought the first thing I'll do is do an octane test uh, just to uh, just for a laugh really because it won't give an accurate reading. It should just max out. Some people still still are saying, oh, well, why didn't you test the 95 octane? So yeah, some people still don't quite understand that, uh, which is part of why I don't. Uh, I'm not keen on ethanol as a as being put into our petrol as standard. Uh, because it isn't actually petrol anymore, you're being sold a different product. It's petrol blended with ethanol, therefore a petrol tester cannot test it because it's mixed. Um, yep, so we'll see, see what this says. 
So remember, it's an E10. It's probably slightly less than 10%. Uh, and it's showing it's 110 uh, ROM, which it uh, obviously isn't. It's uh, advertised as 95. And once I've extracted the ethanol, I'll test it again. But obviously the ethanol is an octane booster. Uh, not to the point of um, making it 110 octane. But so once the uh, ethanol is removed, it would show a lot less than 95 ROM, even if the actual blended finished fuel product is uh, 95 ROM. So I'll do that next. So just to repeat for my ease of uh, editing and organisation, this is the PACE uh, 95 RON E10. It's the only PACE sample uh, I can get hold of. For anybody who hasn't seen this before, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol. And what will happen is the water will pass through the 700 millilitres, uh, giving us a, a litre. Uh, and then if there's ethanol present, which there will be in this, uh, the ethanol being hy hydrophilic, it's, um, some people call it hydroscopic when there's no such word, it's either hygroscopic or hydrophilic. And apparently the correct term for ethanol is hydrophilic, so uh, even though it sounds a bit weird. So the water will basically be, um, the ethanol will be absorbed into the water and uh, the level it sits above 300 millilitres, we can work out whether it's um, E5, E6, E7, up to E10. Uh, and you never know, we might have found a new record for the highest amount of ethanol found in a, a 95 octane uh, so called E10 fuel so far. In this area, I found 7% uh, ethanol, which is in a harvest or breeze petrol. And uh, somebody up north who's been doing some testing uh, found a lot of their E10s are actually uh, E7.5 of all of the sort of supermarket brands and sort of mid mid range brands. All the top brands still seem to be about E5 to E6. So, uh, yep. Without further ado, let's uh, let's get it tested. So I can see a line forming, it, it looks just about on the 330 millilitres but uh, as always uh, with these tests you don't have to leave them that long or overnight, it's poor free method, I don't have to shake or stir it uh, but I'll still give it a uh, 5 minute wait just for this uh, line to settle as it does seem to be a bit of a, uh, a frothy head on it so uh, once that's settled we can get a, a definitive answer. And so we're back after five minutes. Uh, well, it's actually been a little longer than that, but the line has settled. I probably can't see it on the on the camera very well, but the line is actually bang on between two marks here. So it's, it's actually on 335 millilitres, which is uh, quite a surprise actually, because uh, this uh, Pace petrol, like I've mentioned a couple of times, it was uh, you can only get their E1095 octane. Whether they do nationally a, a super unleaded, uh, I'm not sure they probably do, uh, but at that particular garage, because it was a small village one, they only did uh, one petrol and it was a yeah, 95 E10. However, my maths aren't very good, but I'll try to explain this the best I can. Obviously, we started with 700 millilitres of petrol. So if it was E10, 70 millilitres, as in 10%, would be ethanol. So we'd be looking for 70, um, up to this line here, 70 millilitres of this would be uh, added to the water uh, because that's the ethanol has now gone into the water. So we'd have an extra 70 millilitres, but because it's uh, 335, 35 is half of 70. So that actually means it's E5. Uh, which is quite a surprise really because uh, it, it's only been the premium uh, brands of fuel such as uh, Shell, uh, BP, uh, SO and uh, was there another one? It escapes me but uh, I think we've tested another one where the uh, E10s are actually E5 really uh, so don't let that confuse you because the fuel is sold as up to 10% uh, E10 basically means up to 10% 
but in those cases it's five percent like it was e5 but it's not it's e10 because that's that's what it's marketed or sold to you as and that that's what this uh, this pace which is a middle brand i'd call it uh, i was expecting it to be something like an e6 or e7 like of a uh, comparative uh, garages and uh, distributors but uh, no it is actually a uh, five percent ethanol so uh, yeah that's pace uh, e10 is five percent ethanol uh, what we're going to do now is extract the ethanol from a larger sample so i can test the remaining petrol once the uh, ethanol is removed for its octane rating now that won't give the reading of the of the finished product that you're putting in your tank we have to actually um, assume that it is 95 ron and it's just giving us data so the boosting properties of the ethanol have been removed so that way we, we can figure out we can get some figures on how much octane the ethanol itself is adding to the base petrol so i'll do that next it's been a couple of days since I've taken the ethanol out of this paste sample as I wanted to see if the fogginess in the petrol clears after the process if it's been left. As we can see here, it certainly does. Anyway, as the 5% ethanol has been removed, let's see what octane we're left with from the remaining petrol. So it's 92 ron, which is actually closer to the results of the 97 ron super unleaded petrols where I removed the... Uh, 2 to 3% ethanol uh, rather than the so called E10s or 95 Ron equivalent petrols uh, like this one, where I've taken the 5 to 7% ethanol out. And if you recall, in the uh, for example, the Sainsbury's petrol videos, their E10 left us with only 90 Ron with its ethanol removed. Granted that it was um, slightly higher at 6% ethanol. Well that's some more data for a future video and great to see that despite the price that the Pace E10 is only 5% ethanol and certainly meeting or exceeding its octane rating. Uh, we've got another boiler house garage on the road video soon where I pick up our usual samples but this time from London. Uh, so please subscribe to make sure you don't miss that and thanks very much for watching.